guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ellen, and for today's video, <laughs> for today's video, I'll be talking about the frequently asked questions about Native Camp. And I've got good news, so keep on watching. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click on the notification bell so you will be notified for the upcoming videos. So, okay, so frequently asked questions. What is the most asked question? Because since I uploaded the video about the application process on Native Camp, I received a, uh, a bunch of queries or questions about how and a lot of things. So let's start with number one. What are the requirements for applying for Native Camp? Right. Here are the requirements for applying on Native Camp. So first that you need to consider is that if you have an experience teaching English, it may be online or offline. Because nowadays they actually raise the requirements before they accept um, teachers who have no experience. But um, because of the demand nowadays, they really wanted to get the teachers who already have the experience. So it will not be hard for them to train or to look for teachers who can really cater the needs of their students. So that's one. Second, a requirement. You should be at least 18 years old because of course, um, they will not accept minors, minor teachers. So. 18 years old and if you wanted to ask if they really require um, a graduate of what course nope there's none intermediate English level is already enough for them okay and then number four requirement is a laptop or a PC with a webcam because you will have to see your students and the students must see you also while you are doing the lesson and then, headset with microphone. So, it's also nice if you have a noise-canceling headset so that when you are talking to your students, the unnecessary noises or the background noises will not be heard. Okay? And also, um, this is the most important because it's not easy to have this connected, right? The stable and quick internet connection. Um, they actually don't request for you to have a high, uh, they don't require a very high um, speed on your internet connection. But, um, 2 megabyte per second is enough. 2 Mbps is enough. Okay? And the last requirement, this is required, the Google Chrome or the Mozilla Fax. So, Firefox. That's it. So, those are just the... Um, requirements if you wanted to apply on native camp so just make sure that you have those I remember when I thought of applying on native camp I immediately look on on Facebook market <clears throat> for this one the the noise canceling headset because I still don't have this I look at it on Facebook market because I know that if I order it on Facebook Market, um, it will be delivered right away instead of ordering on Lazada or Shopee or wherever. Because if you order on those platforms, it will take how many days for them to ship the item because sometimes the sellers are located far from, from us. <laughs> okay? So... Yes, that's really the first one that you need to consider if you plan on applying on Native Camp. Right now, let's proceed to the second question. How can I conduct a system check? So, how are we going to conduct a system check? I received a message from friends and they asked me, um, How can I conduct a system check? Because I've been waiting for... I mean, almost every day, according to them, they logged in on, on their um, Native Camp account just to wait for the system check. And it always has no available um, time, time slot or schedule. So, like what I said in my 
previous video, on my first on my first video, I told you guys a tip that if you apply in the morning or it's best that you apply in the morning and then finish the application process make it a goal that it should only be a one day process because what the tendency is if you stop say for example you're already on the system check and then you cannot wait anymore because let's just say because you have other things to do but guys if it's not really a very important do not leave the I mean do not stop on that process because the tendency if you will wait for tomorrow the schedule might not be the same anymore that's what I noticed from others when they contacted me they told me that ah, oh, there is no schedule right in that case you really have to wait check keep on checking so you have to log in to the recru recruitment site recruitment site and click that tab start system check okay before conducting the system check make sure that you have already um, prepared all the requirements so it's the um, the PC or the laptop your internet connection wired or Wi-Fi um, your camera or the camera on your laptop headset and also the teaching place and remember okay that the teaching place should have a plain background and should have a quiet environment so this background is not acceptable it should be plain okay and white is very commendable white plain background so that's how you conduct a system check and then um, let's go back to when when can I have the system check you can go on your system check whenever you want yes whenever you want but you cannot we cannot um, guarantee that whenever you want that there is always an available admin who can make the system check you need to be very patient okay because patience is a virtue <laughs> please make sure that you have all the requirements for the system check once you're ready just go and go on standby and wait for the admin okay next how about demo lesson when can I have or how can I proceed to the demo lesson so all you have to do is check the learning kit tab and study the given materials first okay you need to study by the way I receive a question about that um, until when can we study the learning kit or the materials given it's all up to you yes it's all up to you and if you are ready and then go ahead and proceed to demo lesson all you have to do is really click on um, demo lesson go on standby and wait for the admin or for your student rather for your student but going back on my experience I when I go on standby the when the admin came she told me that there's no need for me to have the demo lesson. So lucky for me, right? Because I don't have to undergo the 25-minute demo lesson. So what she, what I did is only to memorize a script. So if you have that, you are very lucky if you were just going to memorize the script. No need for demo lesson. But just to make sure, just study the learning kit. And if you're done, if you're already convinced that that you already know the process what are the dose then you're good to go click on take demo lesson okay and also remember to check the timetable of the native camp website in order to find out what is the most convenient time for you to take the demo lesson okay all right now next question on the EPT or the English Proficiency Test. How much should I score? So, um, at least 70%. In order to pass the EPT, at least you have to score at least 70%.
um, when I took the EPT, I scored 90%. Because it's not actually very, very difficult. You just have to understand and take your time in answering. Think! There is no time... Uh, there is a time limit. Um, in 20 questions, you have 40 minutes, I guess. So, it's, it's a long time already for you to, to answer the question. So, take your time and make sure that you pass because you can only take the EPT once. Alright? So, that's it for today's video. I hope this is helpful for those who are asking. Please subscribe to my channel, okay, for more updates. And, before I forget, um... Here's the good news. I mentioned earlier that I will tell you what is the good news. So just last night, yesterday at around 6 p.m., I received a message. I received a message from from the native camp. And I already have the confirmation email that I can start teaching on the native camp. Odeba, it's really a good news. And that explains, by the way, why I am wearing this. <laughs> so, I just filmed my, or I took a video about my intro video that I already uploaded on the Native Camp um, account. So, ano lang not sure, guys. Maura niya ang sikrito para murata normal ba? secret <laughs> So ta-da! I'm back. Okay, so I hope you too, if you already applied on Native Camp, I wish you the best and hopefully you will also receive a good news tonight. Or if not tonight, tomorrow. Right? See you again on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah, mwah, mwah. If you have questions, please comment down below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. Bye-bye. Oops. I forgot something. Um, shout out sa mga supportive guy ng Coast Scholar darang gapita, no? Sila ni JV, sila Edlyn. <laughs> Ogsa tanang co scholar nga dili tinod scholar sa KFF. Thank you so much for supporting and always watching my video and subscribing and please share it na pod. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye.